Next couple of weeks, I'm going to be sitting down with Junior Witter, the hitter. Um, I was a, a big, big fan of, of Junior Witter all the way through his career, as I was with Ricky Hatton. Um, listen, although they never thought they're going to be linked forever, and uh, I'm sure there's going to be some, you know, some um, eyebrow raising moments in the book. Uh, this last couple of weeks, I've been watching a lot of Zab Judah, who Junior Witter fought. And um, do, you know, do you know when you look at Floyd Mayweather's fights, for me, the, the, the one who he struggled with the most was Junior Witter, um, not Junior Witter, was Zab Judah. Uh, Zab caught him cold at one point. Um, Southpaw. Extremely hard hitting, intelligent, quick, uh, rather elusive. Couldn't really read him. I know he got him in the end, but he gave Floyd Mayweather absolute kittens. And uh, listen, I'm not going to insult anyone's intelligence and say Floyd Mayweather, you know, Junior Witter would have beat Floyd Mayweather. Um, you know, because Floyd Mayweather is. Quite possibly the greatest fighter to ever lace a pair of gloves on. Um, you couldn't, you know, there's an argument for it. But one thing I think Ju um, Floyd Mayweather is, he's a very smart, intelligent guy. And uh, even though Junior Witter was Floyd's mandatory for the WBC at one point, he, you know, he, he, he's very, <clears throat> if you look at his career, um, he got Canelo when he was young, before he went on to be who he was. Uh, he got Manny Pacquiao six years past his prime. Um, Ricky Hatton, come up a weight. Um, you know everything. You know rematches have been on his, on his, um, on his terms. Very extremely clever guy. Uh, he had very very intelligent people behind him. And, um, you know, I, I think Junior Witter, you know, listen, a lot, a lot of you will be watching this and thinking, shut up, you're on drugs. But um, do you know what? I think I think Junior would have given Floyd massive problems. I think, listen, Floyd maybe could have worked him out at the end. He's worked every, every 50 opponents he's ever, he's ever faced and the guy's flawless. But, um, you know, you can understand that even though Junior Witter was the number one mandatory for his WBC title, you can understand why the people behind Mayweather thought, nah, you know, and moved on. And But, uh, listen, I'm really looking forward to spending a bit of time with Junior in the next month or so. Um, so, Junior, Junior Witter, the avoided, the clues in the name. Listen, the guy was a British, Commonwealth, European and WB, WBC world champion. Completely completed the, box, the sport of boxing. Um, done it all. And uh, got out. One of our very few fighters got out with all his faculties intact. And you can tell that when you, when you listen to him. Uh, listen. Oh, sorry, my arm. I'm getting old. Uh, I don't know... <clears throat> I don't know what's going to be in the book yet. I haven't, I haven't done the book plan with Junior, but in my opinion, if I was Junior, I would be. Um, listen, the guy done everything he set out to do in boxing, and not many fighters from Great Britain have ever done what that guy done. Uh, it's, I think it's an extreme. Um, it's a shame that he doesn't get the accolades the guy deserves. You know, I've seen I've seen kind of fighters British level become more well known. Um, you know, because the the funnier or the um, you know the the kind of base a career around somewhere else. But um, you know, for what Junior Witter did, just a kid from the council estates on Bradford is. Unbelievable for what for what that guy achieved in in his sport. He become the pinnacle of 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 his game. But uh, in my opinion, if I was Junior Witter, 
I wouldn't be better because he'd done everything. But he didn't get the pay-per-view fights that the guy deserved. You know, this is not Junior's opinion. In my opinion, Hatton v. Witter was a pay-per-view fight all day. Um, from, you know, 10 years that was spoken of, that could that could have sold pay-per-view numbers for five or six years. Um and uh, you know, I've heard Frank Warren's side, I've heard Ricky Hatton say on several occasions that I'm not giving him a payday. I'm not, you know, I'm I, I don't want to know him. And then when Tim Bradley when <clears throat> when Tim Bradley beat Junior Witter, who Junior only lost on a, a split decision, by the way, and obviously Tim Bradley went on to do the things he did. Um Beating, beating Manny Pacquiao, then uh, you know that goes to show that that had, that's how good Junior Witter was, and and really I think in in the book you'll explain that was the only fight Junior Witter should never ever took, and he'll tell you in his own personal reasons why. But um, you know, listen, uh, I mean I've spoken to Talk Sport and a few of the big podcasters, so Junior's going to be on telling his story. But uh, listen, there's going to be a few people in British boxing, very well-known names, not going to be happy with probably what's... Well, I know that was not going to be said, but um, it's all true. It's all absolutely 100% true. So, Junior Witter, The Avoided, written by myself, Jamie Boyle, published by Warcry Publishing, will be released at some point this year. There is a Facebook page called Junior Witter, The Avoided, the clues in the name, what the book was about. Um, he was too good for his own good at one point, and he was probably the chairman of the Who Needs Him committee. Um, yeah, very, very sad. But that's boxing. There's a lot of skullduggery behind the scenes that a lot of people don't know, and Junior's just... You know, it's not only just the hat and the mayor with the thing. Listen, the guy trained among that astounding... Talent of the Ingle Camp, your Nassim Ahmeds, your Johnny Nelsons, um, your Kel Brooks, your Kid Galahads, your Ryan Rhodes, your Ishan Pickerins. He was a product of that environment. So uh, I dare say there's going to be a lot of funny stories along the way. Um, Junior, you wouldn't think it actually, but as you get to know him, he's quite funny. He's quite humorous. He's got a, um, a funny side. And I'm, I'm looking forward to sitting with him for probably... <sighs> Um, I'm going to sit with him for five days and we're going to record over 20 hours uh, and I'm going to basically bind it up and put it all in Junior's words so Junior Witter The Avoided by Jamie Boyle published by War Cry Publishing that's going to be my big sport and book of 2022 and um, anyone who wants any more information give me a follow on Twitter at Jamie Boyle 10 um, and as I said there's a Facebook page dedicated to the whole PR side of Junior Witter. Um, anyone who is watching this and think I'd like Junior on my podcast or um, you know my show or anything kind of like that give me a message and uh, I can arrange it so don't forget and it's going to be an absolute bland and read I should know I know a lot of the stories I remember I remember a lot of the stories as well uh, you know, such as facing Zab Judah on nine days' notice. This is this was the number one. This this guy was a phenomenal talent, and uh, at that point, Junior had never even done twelve rounds, let alone even fought for a British title. So he gets asked at the drop of a hat on uh, the undercard of the Mike Tyson show for Alex Morrison's at Hampden Park in Glasgow, and uh, I can understand why Zab Judah wasn't interested in giving Junior the rematch. Um, but I'm looking forward to working with Junior. Uh, yeah, I liked him. I liked watching him. I've got to know him a bit. Uh, I met him... Uh, I met him about six years ago, and um, I was a bit taken back, because when you meet Junior, or when you see him on telly, and he's full of the arrogant, swagger, brash cockiness, which he portrayed that character um when you when you get to know him he's not actually like that at all and uh when i remember spending a, 
a little bit of time with him in Leeds about six years back. And uh, what, one of the things that stays with me is how much time he had. I was just... Um, I was just... Uh, I wasn't an author even then. I was just a fan. And uh, my son, he was about eight then, seven, eight. And Junior made a bit of a fuss of him. And that always stuck in my head. Hence the reason I'm probably writing his book. But uh, no, do you know what? He's got a great story. And I'm really looking forward to working with a top fighter who done everything in British sport and more. And, uh, you know, the time is now. Junior Witter has been asked years ago. And uh, thankfully, he never done it. Because God knew Jamie Boyle was going to come along. And uh, he said, listen, Junior, um, there's, a, there's a good offer coming along. Just take your time. And, um, you know, but listen, I'm I'm sure we'll we'll do something absolutely blinded together. So, Junior Wear, The Avoided, What's It About, The Clues in the Name is coming 2022.